Today we'll be showing you how to use the analytical balance. First off, it's important that when using solids that come from a stock, that you separate it from the main container by pouring it into a beaker. This helps to avoid any contamination of the solid. And now Matt will demonstrate how to mass by difference. Before starting, the balance and both the wash glass watch glass need to be cleaned. Now you must zero the balance before measuring the watch glass. The uncertainty of the balance is the lowest digit due to fluctuations in air pressure. It's okay if the balance is off zero by a thousandth of a gram or even changing constantly by a few thousandths of a gram. After recording the mass of the watch glass, the solid is then added to the watch glass. The watch glass is then put back onto the balance, closing the doors to minimize air due to air pressure. And finally, by subtracting the initial mass of the watch glass, from the combined mass of both the watch glass and the solid, the mass of the blue solid is obtained. And now Adil will show us how to use the tear function on the analytical balance. Just as before, he starts off by cleaning the balance of any foreign debris. He then places the watch glass onto the balance and slides the door shut, and then he zeroes it to get as close to zero as he can, uh, even with the fluctuations. He then takes the watch glass off of the balance and adds the solid to it. Now, he puts the watch glass back on the balance, closes the door, and measures the mass. He'll measure this to the nearest hundredths place since the thousandths are constantly fluctuating due to air pressure. And now Herbert will also show us how to use the balance by tear. At this point, I will note that it is important to use the same balance throughout an experiment. This is due to any incongruities that a certain balance might have with the other balances does not affect the results of your experiment. Having zeroed the balance with the watch glass on there, Herbert will now remove the watch glass and add on the blue solid. With the blue solid on the watch glass, Herbert will place the watch glass onto the balance and then measure it to the nearest hundredth degree since the thousandth is constantly fluctuating due to air pressure. 